Lava has left a smoking trail of destruction half a mile wide, burying hundreds of houses and stopping just short of Goma's city limits. At least 15 have died, according to authorities, a figure that is likely to rise. As lava from Congo's Mount Niragongo approached her home, Ernestine Kabu tried to get her sick husband to safety, but he was too unwell to leave. I said to myself, I can't go alone. We've been married for the best and for the worst. I went back to at least try to get him out, but couldn't. I ran away and he got burned inside. I don't know what to do. I curse this day. After a volcanic eruption on Saturday evening, residents of the Buane district of DRC's eastern city, Goma, have been picking through the mangled remains of their homes and questioning why they weren't given more warning. Shops briefly reopened in Goma on Monday, but many closed again as waves of earth tremors rocked the city. Experts say those quakes were likely caused by tectonic plates realigning and that the risk of a second eruption was small. Mount Niragongo is monitored by the Observatoire Volcanologique de Goma, or OVG. Humanitarian worker Lacey Cabasale questioned why the OVG hadn't been able to give residents more of a warning. Before the eruption, experts had warned volcanic activity in recent years mirrored that of preceding eruptions in 1977 and 2002. But volcanologists at the OVG have struggled to make basic checks since the World Bank cut funding amid embezzlement allegations. Speaking on radio on Sunday, the OVG's chief scientific director, Celastin Casareka Mahinda, said the observatory had not been able to carry out comprehensive checks between October 2020 and April because of a lack of internet connection. Internet was restored in April thanks to funding from a U.S. partner, he said, but by that stage, too much time had been lost.